<clears throat> okay, I'm going to be showing you a real quick video on how to um, save a PowerPoint to a PDF file and then to post that in Blackboard for your students to look at. First thing you want to do is open up your, your PowerPoint presentation. You don't need to do any other preparation unless you got some really real graphics in there that um, maybe pictures on top of pictures. But for this case, <clears throat> um, you know, I believe at least I keep all most of my presentations simple enough so that I don't have to make any preparations. What you're going to want to do is go up here to where it says file, click on file, and then you're going to scroll down to save as. Now different versions of PowerPoint are going to look a little bit different, but in this one, um, you know, this is the, 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 the latest version that I've downloaded from the, the school. So I click on save as. Then you're going to pick the folder. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the same folder where I opened the file. I've got the name of the file. I'll leave that the same. And this pull down right here, click the little arrow. Oops, click in the right place. I'll get it done. And then select PDF as the version. Now it will show PDF. All you do is click the Save button. Again, different versions are going to be a little bit different. Uh, the, the way they're set up is, but you know, whichever method you use to save it, it will bring this up. It's going to take a minute or so for it to, to produce it. Uh, once it's done, then we're going to switch over to uh, to the PowerPoint. I mean, excuse me, to the um, uh, Blackboard, and I'm logged into your course. So I'm going to go over here uh, where we we're going to store them in the course contact folder. So just click on that making sure you're in the edit mode um, and so you can see this and then you're going to click on the middle of PowerPoint presentation I've already built this folder so we're going to put it inside this folder so now we're in there and it's asking you to add content so we're going to go to this little file here that says build content and just select the first one that is an item and then we're just going to give it a name and I'm just going to put chapter one well, I'm going to try to put chapter 1. I guess I didn't click in the box. Chapter, well, I'm going to put chapter 12, chapter 14, because it's already there. Um, and then I'm going to scroll down to just attach a file. You don't even have to put any text. They'll know how to open it. So you click on Browse My Computer, and then you're going to browse to wherever you've got your file. And um, if I can get this to open, Course Folders. And I think I've got it in, whoops, wrong one. So I've got it in Community Corrections. My fingers are a little too fat to use the uh, on-screen touch. And then I've got the PowerPoint. And and then I had the, the uh, that's the version, the PDF version right here. And then all I do is hit submit. And it's there. Now all the student has to do is click on it and it will open up for them. And they can scroll through and look at all the, the PowerPoint. So that, that's all there is to it. Um, just let them know that it'll be where it will be. You can send out a class announcement or just tell them in class. I'd probably tell them in class because if they're not in class, they, you know, they don't necessarily, um, you know, they should be in class. Let's just leave it at that. And you can just add as, as you know, as many as you want. Um, they'll, they'll kind of fill in the blank. You can move things around if you want, but just uh, if you put a chapter one in, the next one will show up right behind it, chapter two and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one out now because you don't need that one in there. But that's about all there is to it. If you have any questions, give me a call.